You may want to say goodbye to all your friends and family. Ebola is upon us. A virus that has a 50 to 90% kill rate and there's no cure. A fatal disease marked by fever and severe internal bleeding. Do you feel like you have a fever? You should be worried. Look at this picture. You see this? This could be you. And how about this one? This one's no better. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder if you have Ebola. Infected. And it's too late to worry about them. You need to be worried about yourself. This is how it starts, according to CNN. Patient zero. Update, it's a possible young boy. It then turns to this. And then to this. You're asking, what can we do about this? You can do nothing, because at this point, you're dead. Are you afraid yet? Well, you should be. This is the deadliest Ebola outbreak in history. This is a mainstream website right here. Fox News telling you this. Can you believe this? You should be shaking. Look at this. More you need to know. Eight other things you need to know from this Blaze website. That's just ridiculous right there. There's controversy over who gets the drugs. So this is our solution, guys. You should feel a lot better. There's a vaccine in the works. I'm reading exactly the way you're supposed to read it. Could we have known about the outbreak before it started? Blah, blah, blah. Woo, woo, woo. There's a shortage of protective gear. This is what you need to be worried about. Because just in case you're trying to get protective gear, you might not be able to get it. So what you need to do right now is be afraid. This is just how it is. You got to deal with it. Look at him. He's spraying for roaches. Ebola song to raise awareness about the deadly disease. I guess not enough people know about it. Let us all arise and come together to fight Ebola. Ebola is real. You gotta fight it with music. Was bringing Ebola patients to U.S. a mistake? Yes. You remember that chart I showed you? We don't want that to happen, but looks like bringing the patients to the U.S. might make that happen, according to this. Ebola is not in Canada yet, so don't worry. Look at this guy. I thought he was getting his hair cut at first, but looks like he's just getting his temperature taken. Last, a devil. Several pastors in West African churches compared the Ebola virus to the work of the devil. Maybe so. Here go the main thing y'all need to see here. The CDC estimates that there have been more than 3,000 cases of Ebola and more than 2,000 deaths since 1976. Link in the description box. You can see that for yourself. Since 1976. A little bit over 2,000 deaths. Now, worldwide, there are between 250,000 to 500,000 flu deaths per year. Now, how ridiculous is that when you compare it to the Ebola, the deadliest Ebola outbreak in history? It looks minuscule, as Chomsky would say. Understand what you're really looking at. You're looking at a trust campaign. The media portrays to be the authority on all the information during the crisis. In this case, the Ebola outbreak, only to gain your trust and some money on the side. That's how they pay for their ridiculously high salaries. So after they gain your trust, you're glued to your TV screen. What next? What else do I need to know about the Ebola outbreak? Oh, then they tell you, well, you take the vaccines, which you can see here. Now you can feel good. The World Health Organization endorses use of experimental Ebola drugs. That means there is a solution in the works. A solution to soothe your fears. And it's a lot easier to get the vaccines than it used to be because now we have Obamacare and the vaccines will be given to you at no cost. Well, the insurance is paying for it. Also, the accumulated trust rolls over around election time and they continue to sell you on the two-party lie system. And mainly what this is, is to sell you on the whole New World Order agenda. As long as as you trust in the mainstream media sources, AKA the corporate media, they will continue to sell you down the river into accepting the new world order agenda.